Live. This is Fox News Midday. Welcome back, everybody. It is the third most common cancer diagnosed in men and women across the country. But did you know that colorectal cancer is also one of the most preventable? Dr. Alicia Logue is joining us now. She is a colorectal surgeon from the UT Health San Antonio MD Anderson Cancer Center. Thank you so much for being here and helping us learn about this really important topic. Thank you so much for having me. So what we want to get to first for our audience out there is how is colorectal cancer detected? How can people find this? Colonoscopy is considered to be the gold standard to detect colon cancer. It's a simple procedure in which you have to take something that helps your bowels become clean the day before you have the procedure. During the procedure, you should not experience discomfort. You receive anesthesia and sedation, so you won't actually have memory of the procedure itself. By doing a colonoscopy, we're able to examine the lining of the colon, which is where polyps develop. Polyps, if left go over many years, ultimately can develop more mutations that can make them grow into a cancer. Cancer basically means the tumor has the ability to spread outside of the organ where it originated and spread to other parts of the body. What are some of the factors that might put people more at risk for this disease? Age is one factor, as well as family history. Any history of inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, smoking, alcohol use, I know those things are very ubiquitous in our culture, but they are toxins and they're carcinogens, dietary and lifestyle factors. So we do have an increasingly processed diet with artificial sweeteners and other additives that can increase the risk of colon cancer. We also know that exercise is protective against colon cancer. Now, if there are people worried about this, because it is relatively common, what are some of the symptoms that they should look for and maybe head to the doctor if they're noticing? Tell people any change that's sustained beyond a week or two with their bowel habits or their stomach aches or what's normal for them, meaning that we all get constipation or diarrhea once in a while. But if you develop those symptoms and they're not normal for you and they persist beyond a week or two, even if you're not young, because we know this type of cancer is increasing in young people, even at the age of 30 to 40, it's important that you get evaluated uh, by a peer physician. Blood and stool is one of the more common signs that we see when patients present with colon cancer. Additionally, in a patient that has lost a little bit about a, a little amount of blood over a longer period of time related to the tumor slowly bleeding, they can develop anemia. Anemia can cause symptoms like inability to tolerate your usual exercise routine and unexplained fatigue. And you Other symptoms include things like abdominal pain, bloating, nausea. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. You mentioned something super interesting that you're seeing patients younger and younger getting diagnosed with this. What might be leading to that? Probably it's multifactorial, meaning a combination of environmental, dietary, and lifestyle issues. We know that patients born after 1990 have an exponentially higher chance of developing colon cancer in their life compared to somebody born 1950 or beforehand. One factor that's really being scrutinized is some additives in our dietary products. High fructose corn syrup, for example, is something that's a relatively inexpensive sweetener, and it's in things that you would anticipate to be sweet, like cereals and desserts, but it also is found in things like even pizza crust. We know products like this, while have been on the market for several decades, do increase the risk of colorectal cancer in animal models, and that probably can be extrapolated to the population. Very, very interesting stuff here. This is Dr. Alicia Logue. Thank you so much for joining us and taking the time to give people more information about this. You see a link on your screen right now if you do want to learn more. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.